Hello there, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will know how to connect the controller to GeForce Now. Cool guide. The first step is to verify the compatibility of your controller. Most widely used controllers, including those from Xbox, PlayStation, and various generic USB options, are compatible with GeForce Now. Ensuring that your controller is supported can help prevent potential frustrations during the setup process. Once compatibility is confirmed, the next step is to connect the controller to your computer. For a wired connection, simply plug the controller into a USB port. Most systems will automatically recognize the controller, allowing for immediate use without further setup. This straightforward approach allows users to quickly get started with minimal hassle. For those opting for a wireless connection, the steps vary slightly depending on the type of controller. If you are using an Xbox controller, begin by pressing the Xbox button to turn it on. Hold the pairing button until the Xbox logo blinks. Then navigate to Settings, Devices, Bluetooth and other devices on your PC. Click Add Bluetooth or Other Device. Select Bluetooth and the Xbox controller should appear in the list of available devices for easy connection. Connecting a PlayStation controller follows a similar process. Press and hold both the PS button and the Share button until the light bar starts flashing. Next, go to Settings, Devices, Bluetooth and other devices on your PC. Click Add Bluetooth on Other Device. Select Bluetooth and choose your PlayStation controller from the list to complete the connection. After successfully connecting the controller, the next step is to launch GeForce Now. This can be done by opening the GeForce Now app or accessing it through a web browser. Once the platform is open, it is essential to check the controller settings to ensure everything is functioning correctly. By clicking the settings icon, typically represented by a gear symbol, users can navigate to the controller section to confirm that the controller is recognized. This menu also allows users to adjust sensitivity and button mappings to suit their preferences. With the controller connected and settings configured, players can now select a game that supports controller input. At this stage, they should be able to navigate menus and engage in gameplay seamlessly. However, users may face issues if the controller does not function as expected. In such cases, a few troubleshooting steps can help resolve the problem. First, ensure that the controller is properly connected. If issues persist, restarting GeForce Now on your PC can often resolve connectivity problems. Additionally, verify that the game you are attempting to play supports controller input. If necessary, updating the controller's firmware may also address compatibility issues. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below for more tutorials on your favorite apps. Happy exploring!